Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain you real-time clinical SAS project topic 21 that is decimal precision and alignment of a laboratory summary statistics table. How we are going to align and uh, precise this decimal in laboratory summary statistics table. Okay, and here this was the data set of particular subject and particular lab category and lab test cd and in which is a screening and visit one these are the visits and dtc and ORS. here you can see the yellow colored one wbc parameter values and if you see in the little b o r r e s nothing but this is the actual value here this subject has this value has three decimal and this value has two decimal and this has only one decimal and this has no decimal for a particular lab test CD we have different different decimals here also two decimal one decimal but we need to uh, maintain one particular decimal precision and alignment in particular table for the particular lab test CD so how we are going to do that one in this particular data set if you see here this one and here this was the sap mentioned by the statistician how we are going to give the decimal alignment if you calculated the mean and median it should be one more decimal place than original data for example if the data set contain two decimal the mean and median should be one more extra decimal means three decimal and minimum and maximum same number of decimals means if the raw data set value contain two decimal the minimum and maximum should be the same two decimal and the standard deviation is two more decimals means if it is the raw data set two decimal and the standard deviation will go four decimal this was the uh, mentioned by the SAP statistician in SAP so according to there uh, we can give the decimals in the summary statistics table okay if you see wha how we are going to do that one in the step one case find the maximum number of places past the decimal for each parameter for example after the decimal how many numbers are how many decimals are there how many numbers are there we need to find uh, find first of all so for that one how we what we need to do just create the character value particular lb or r is, is a numeric value so convert into the character value and find if there is no decimal then past decimal equal to zero if there any any decimals after the decimals for example this was the decimal if the lb or r is contain decimal then that time what we need to do by using scan function uh, how many decimals are there you can find after the dot how many values are there by using this scan function we can find and create some one variable called past decimal by writing the code we can get this past decimal variable here if you this was a lb or r s yes, and convert it into a character value and here if you see after the decimal we have a three three number so the past decimal value is three in the case here if for example here we have a two decimal so this is give the past decimal value as two first step is this one and the second step is find the maximum decimal for each parameter for example by using the same lb test cd each test cd how many decimals are there we need to find by using proc univariate procedure max how many decimals are there for a particular parameter maximum number of decimals containing lb test cd by using this you can we have three lb test cd in this wbc have three decimal value that was the maximum and basophils has two decimal value and for the particular alt parameters among all the data set they don't have any decimal so that was a zero decimal once we find what we need to do we can give the total length and the number of past decimals <clears throat> if you are there this was a 8 was the maximum number of numeric length so past decimal containing value is there then it will give comes as 1 and adding the past decimal values form to variable containing only past decimal value 
okay here if you see past decimal value already we have seen this was the 3 this was the 2 and 0 and the form 1 is 11 means form 2 is a 0 how this 11 was come here if you see this 8 is already we given the 8 and if the decimal containing the value then it will automatically comes as 1 and past decimal containing this was the 2 so total 11 is the value for this form 1 and form 2 is the same as past decimal values okay once it completed then we can write this code first we need to uh, set that previous data set and we need to create a one temporary variable count variable it will it will count one by one one two three wise and will give some uh, temporary name like l underscore this count why because while passing into macro we need one unique name for the every parameter so we'll give l underscore this one and we need to find how many total tests are there we have three tests we need to convert that three number to macro variable and testing that macro variable will get the three value and if you see here the form one is you know, form two is the count variable is one two three and total top test means how many tests are there one two three it was created as macro variable once it was done this was a count variable this was the lab num we need given l underscore and given the count variable concatenating with l underscore with one two three numbers okay after this we need to create two more variables for length as well as format purpose tot underscore tot f num this was the tot f num it gives f underscore with count number and back underscore num b underscore one two three numbers <coughs> and next this was two variables were created later what we need to do by writing the main data set proc invariate procedure to get the summary statistics like n mean median standard deviation minimum and maximum okay once we get this was the n mean media standard deviation median minimum and maximum variables and we are going to align these values to particular unique decimals for each parameters right so <coughs> how we need, are going to do right writing a macro and send the one by one parameter into that loop and assigning previously we have created one unique decimals for every parameter right so assigning that values to particular parameters for this one first we are going to create some dummy create some value n mean standard mean n, minimum and maximum these six variable we are going to align the decimals right and one two six means one two three four five six these are the six statistics and the do loop was start here and this was stop test was nothing but how many tests are there we have three tests one two up to three tests we are doing this loop and first one is here you can see l ampersand ampersand l underscore ampersand w one nothing but this ampersand ampersand reserved as ampersand and l and w is one nothing but one get into loop it was reserved as one ampersand l1 reserved as first parameter and the first parameter is for example alt if the alt comes into this loop and the start one means n was come and we already assigned the particular parameter particular formats and etc and if it is a n we are assigning the put as that values and given this format and if it is a two means mean we are assigning one more extra decimal and if it is a standard deviation two more extra decimal w plus two means two more extra decimals we are giving through this macro if it is a median we are giving the same plus one decimals if it is a minimum maximum as it is how many raw variables are uh, raw variable containing the decimals we are assigning the same decimal to the particular statistics in the same way first parameter done then automatically the loop will iterate and the second parameter go into that one and we have already defined the formats and length 
they automatically take that parameters from previous uh, calls input method we have we have generated and taking that one and loop will continue until the parameters for n and it will gives the data set like you know <coughs> here the data set that will give for example the wbc having maximum three decimals containing the value okay here you can see the maximum value containing three decimal minimum value containing three decimal median has one more decimal means four decimal median have four decimal standard deviation has two more decimals from the uh, compared to the raw data so five decimals containing i uh, n is the normally how many de without decimals we are displaying in this way wbc containing all this uh, records having same rec same decimals you know here WBC also three decimal three decimal in the case of bass fields we have maximum two decimals so bass fields has minimum maximum two decimal median has three and standard deviation four and mean is three decimals in this way the macro will work and if you have passed all the parameters in this macro you will get a proper decimal alignment as per the statistical requirement if you have any treatment and we need to transpose the treatment wise for example i have given some treatment as xxx and if you if you give in the proc transpose id virus treatment you will get the treatment wise in mean median statistics for the particular category and a particular parameter if you give this one for example xxx treatment and this was the wbc and the n mean median statistics was getting as per the requirement the decimal for wbc maximum is three decimals containing the values there there so we are going to give decimals as per the highest decimal containing the value okay if you like this video please like this video comment and share please subscribe my channel for more interesting advances interview as well as real time project scenarios thank you for watching thanks for watching this video for more interesting saas interview topics please subscribe my channel thank you